Sometimes the best way to enter a painting and an idea is to begin with a part of it and move out. So I want to begin with the kernel of the story that was revealed in my painting, The Blossom, The Garden, because it's going to turn out that we are that blossom. We are the garden. And that we are the outcome of a great cultivation of what does it mean to be human that has essentially taken forever. But now we come full circle because when something is revealed as art, as painting, again, it is not asking us to believe. It says you've moved beyond belief. This is a question of beauty. Can you imagine yourself to be far more interesting than you think? And so we see the seed or the egg, the mother, and we will begin to see over and over again in the work of the hieroglyph of the human soul, my painted library, my 3D painted cave, that the elongated head will become a theme because it's trying to suggest that maybe the reason we have amnesia, that we can't remember who we are collectively, is actually there was a change in physiology. And this is what the garden is going to help us see visually because it's going to show us how, as the elders with the elongated heads, we see that they are very innocent, like children. And only their faces reach inside of the egg. Well, we begin to see smaller heads. We see the male and the female, love and thought, which is helpful because it's going to say that when we went from a mind that was all-encompassing and directly knowing, we slowed it down to a rate where we could perceive it, a bit like Einstein saying, reality is thought slowed down to a rate where we can perceive it. So what if art, what if the atomic structure here is slowing it down into a visual so we can grapple with our story without having to believe it, which is why art is so effective, because it frees us from belief and allows us to penetrate with a deeper passion for beauty and the things that only make sense in terms of the fragrance of the flower. And that's why the, the ancestors, this seed that is planted, will take us on the journey of vision into the ark. Now the ark here is talking about the two hemispheres, meaning the knowledge of what we think of as the masculine and feminine, but essentially the knowledge of the masculine or of the father in this narrative is I think, therefore I am, and when we think, we separate. And the knowledge of the mother, the knowledge of the feminine is I love, therefore I am. It has to do with generation. We're composed of a mother and a father. So we have this contrast. When I think, I separate. When I love, I connect. So what and why? And the Ark is saying, so finally you and we are able to balance these qualities. And that's why this is in my home, where we live with those we love, because a garden thrives on love and the willingness to persevere, because it isn't about the single day, but the season that leads to the cultivation of the blossom. And that's why we'll look down and, because we don't want to make this too long, we'll look at the infant, the cosmic infant at the bottom, imagining itself into being and holding a frame of reference, like breathing just a breath over and over again of a greater possibility because to do any more would be to disrupt, almost like the sand on the surface of a plane. But over and over, like the tissues in our body, this greater possibility shows us that through birth, which we all share, we wear the robes of a collective DNA that carries the history of all of us within each of us, which helps us understand that through birth, we would blossom. But as the center of the blossom reveals the mother of the dark with the pyramid, form and structure, and the mother of light with the circle and the sun, the mother of love and radiance. We combine these now and we stand, you see, as the blossom, as the outcome. And for me, only art can tell us this because you know what to be human is a work of art we just don't realize it now because we think there's one style rather than a library full of styles so trust your style you're here to blossom thank you